Hello, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use your Connect with GStreamer and have it actually run through uh, DeepStream on the Jetson Nano. So uh, first thing we'll do is um, I got this all in the GitHub repo and, and I'll, I'll, I'll put a, a, a link to it so you guys can do it yourself. But uh, here's the, uh, I've got my Connect hooked up. Here's the live stream. This is the GStreamer com commands that are going to have the live stream run. Now what happens is this is a, I, I had to get in here and change the config info primary nano text to a B1 because I'm running a batch size of one. You can see right here. So the first time we run this, it's going to make the engine. So it's going to take a little bit to, uh, to get it to run. So, but after that, at once the engine's made, then it should just run really quickly all the time. So let's go ahead and start it. Now it's going to do this while it's uh, making the engine. In fact, we'll go down here. You can see, oh, there's no engine in here with the B1. But while it's making it, uh, I'll show you kind of what's going on here. What it is is uh, this is my GitHub repo. These are all the instructions on how to do this. Um, what I did was, uh, uh, in the beginning, the first ones I did, I did the GS plugin path to get it to run. Well, if you copy the contents of the plugins, the GST plugins build to this, this, this location, then you won't need this long string. And I'll show you that later. And then, uh, you do all this. I went through this a couple times. It works just fine. Um... You know, uh, the, here's some places in here where you have to kind of get some permission to do a couple of these. Uh, where you got to take OpenCV. It's inside the file of OpenCV4. Just copy it out of there and just put it in the same folder as OpenCV4. So these uh, uh, program, so these commands can find locate it. And then you install uh, 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 libfreenext for the connect, and then. Uh, if you want to, you can uh, run these these commands right here. If you just want to run the connect. Now, if you copy the folder into the other one, like I said earlier, you wouldn't have to put this GS plugin path in there. You would just use this. And then a one is uh, the live stream, two is the infrared stream, and zero is uh, the, uh, the depth stream. You're seeing I've got all the commands here. This is the commands for, uh, here, hold on. This is the commands for the live stream, the infrared stream, and the depth stream. So we'll go here. Um, you can see it's running. Uh, this is deep stream. See, it sees my little man. Let's see if I can get to see it. So, I mean, it does need some work. But this is the connect running. And then that's the live stream. Like I say, now that we've got the engine built. Oh. See, there's the engine that was built the first time. So the next time we run these commands, um, they're not going to take as long to, to, to run. So here's the infrared stream. This is running, going to run through DeepStream also. Like I say, it'll run, it'll start up a lot quicker since it's already built the engine. You see, and there's this. See, yeah, see, see the, the it sees a person there. This is the infrared stream. So it's not bad for in, running infrared through deep stream. And then here's the depth stream.
By the way, I'm being seated to here. That's why it might be a little choppy. So this is the, the depth stream. See, so he didn't even fix it up, too. It sees a little person. So, and that's that's the depth stream. So that, that's not bad. So let's see if we can get the little man over here. So it sees my little, this is my little silver surfer. My dog chewed up his head, and that's why his head's messed up. So, so that's the connect from the Xbox One running through DeepStream with GStreamer commands. Like I said, here's the, we're going to go back and run a live stream again. Like I said, it'll start up real quick now because we already built the engine. A little quicker. So. So, you know, the connect run and deep stream. I mean, what more can you ask for? Like I say, I'll put a, a, a link to my GitHub repo on, uh, on how to do all this. Just remember when you run it the first time, it's going to take a little bit of time to to build the engine. And then what I did is this was a B8. I made it a B1 because we're running a batch size of 1. And you see in here, the batch size is in here of 1. And then all this other stuff is uh, just to do the conversion to get the the streams from the uh, connector run. So I guess that's about it. So, uh, you know, good luck with it.